Alan Senator Neil O'Donnell. I'd like to welcome uh, former member of this House and current member of the lower house, uh, Senator Dallas. Nice that you come back to show respect to this chamber again. Uh, Senator O'Donnell. Um, Carla, uh, I just want to begin by expressing my own uh, personal disappointment at the uh, seeming collapse uh, of the talks process uh, in the North uh, yesterday, um, because despite uh, us having uh, what appeared to be a comprehensive uh, deal uh, on the table, unfortunately, uh, the DUP uh, have walked away from that, uh, and it appears that they haven't been able to see that uh, particular uh, deal. And I take a lead from Senator Burke, and I agree with him that this is a time for cool heads and a time for respecting uh, what is a delicate political time um, in the North because of the very key, critical and important issues uh, that pertain to uh, the negotiations and the need, and Sinn Féin is fully committed to the need to restore not just the devolved institutions but the All-Ireland uh, institutions that flow uh, from them. Um, I do, in the most respectful uh, and measured and collected and calm way, want to challenge um, a, a negative uh, narrative that may be creeping into this chamber. Um, so I want to put a few things uh, on the record of the House. The key issues that pertain in relation to the problems uh, and the lack uh, of an executive in the North are primarily, but not exclusively, rights-based. So part of the reason there is no executive in the North is a litany, an ongoing litany, of disrespect being shown not just to an Irish national identity or people who choose to live their lives through the medium of Irish, but also our LGBT citizens, uh, our ethnic minorities. So if you had an assembly, no problem? Well, I don't think that, that displays the highest level of ignorant, ignorance yet, um, uh, because unfortunately, yeah. despite the majority of the assembly voting uh, for marriage equality in the past, one party so this notion of uh, two problem parties or two parties being as bad as each other. Sorry, allow me, allow me to uh, correct the record. Uh, Senator, Senator Norris, Norris, please allow Senator O'Donnell. You're, um, you're, you're running out of time and yeah, so, so I'll be very quick. The Irish language is one issue. The, the rights that are envisaged, there are envisaged to everyone in this state and indeed people in Scotland uh, and Wales as well. Marriage equality uh, is another, one that a majority of MLAs uh, support, has a majority of MLAs support and act negaliga. So again, it dispels this myth of two problem parties uh, being the issue. Access to funding for legacy inquests. Victims in the North who are waiting, some of them, 40 years, victims whose grandchildren now have to take on the mantle uh, of campaigning for a, an inquest, the most basic of rights when someone loses their life, have to take on the mantle. Again, People are trying to pull a national security veto to prohibit and prevent the release of funding to that. So again, not two problem uh, parties. So I wanted to just correct the record um, in the calmest possible way. If we are serious about getting the institutions back up and running, then all of us collectively should follow the lead of Senator Burke, um, remain measured, remain calm, but I think very politically importantly is to remain factual and truthful in well, relation to this. Well,